right, with day one of the jury selection of Donald Trump's New York hush money trial now concluded, there are still a lot of questions about the trial. And so we're going to answer them live. Your questions. We always invite you into the conversation. And Michael Moore is back with me to help as well. If you ever want to participate, you can just go to CNN.com slash Trump trial questions. Fill out the form, type in your question there, and then we'll reach out to you, have you call in as the trial unfolds. Let's go to our first caller of the night. We got Rich from Colorado. Rich, what's your question? Well, I'm kind of curious. What can prosecutors do to prevent a Trump supporter from using this opportunity to lie their way into the jury? Are That's there investigations allowed or penalties if such a juror is exposed once the trial begins? That's a great question. I'm glad that you've asked both of them. First of all, the idea of trying to navigate how to select a jury is a lot of gut intuition and some research in terms of having past experiences of things. You might have somebody who is a quote unquote stealth juror, as we've discussed, who has a different motive for being on the trial. That's why you have to ask a lot of questions to figure out what they actually are thinking and can they be consistent in their responses. And as for the second part of it, once the jury panel has been impaneled, you're going to have 12 and then six alternates as well, there'll be a way to track to figure out if there's anything that they're doing to violate the judge's orders about what they can and cannot do going forward. And if they are violating, that's when you have the alternate jurors coming in. And no one at that time will know until they, the trial is over if they are an alternate. That's a great question. Nancy from Allentown, Pennsylvania, what's your question? Um, during his civil trial, he just got up and left the courtroom. Is he allowed to do that during his criminal trial? You know, trying to predict his behavior might be a little bit odd, but he's not allowed to leave in a, in a criminal trial, unlike a civil where it's voluntary. But Michael, what do you, what's your Yeah, thought? I mean, that's right. He, he did kind of get up as he pleased and, or didn't show up at points of, of some of his civil cases. This is different. You know, part of sitting in a criminal court is because you have a right to confront the people against you. And so the court is essentially protecting that constitutional right saying, you know, you're going to be here. And so you have to be in the courtroom. You've got, you're going to be present every day. And then that way I can be sure as the judge that your rights are protected and that we, we keep things moving forward. So he's going to be there. I think the judge in this case has made it clear. He's not going to give him a pass even for things that Trump's asked to do. But interesting enough, if he were to violate or not show up on his own accord, they could still go with the trial, but he'd have a warrant out for that's his exact, arrest. That's exactly right. At that point, he could be arrested for not showing up. Let's go to Scott from Levittown, New York. Scott, what's your question? Good evening, Laura. Thank you for having me. Hi. How will a jury be treated during and after the trial? And will their names and addresses be known to the lawyers? Well, what we do know right now is that none of this will be public at this time because of protection for the jurors. Obviously, you can imagine how um, the prospect of intimidation or just media interests or general public interests and the individuals would be. So they're going to have that be confidential. Now, after a trial, it gets a little bit murkier, Michael, right, to figure out how they can preserve the anonymity of these That's individual right. jurors. They might want to come forward of their own accord following the trial, but during they cannot. That's right. And it's not unusual after a trial for a judge to tell the jury, you know, at this point, you're free to discuss it. At this point, you know, you're outside. The, the case is over. You've made your decision. Uh, lawyers may have a question. The media may have a question. Uh, but but it, pretty much he turns it loose to them at that point to decide whether or not they want to rem remain anonymous or whether they want to talk about their deliberations in their case. Emma from Norwalk, Connecticut. What's your question? Is it possible that the Trump team and the DA will ultimately work out a plea deal prior to trial that prevents it from going forward like a plea deal? If so, how likely is that, and what would happen procedurally? Michael's already shaking his head. <laughs> I mean, I, really, I think it's a great question, and it's a good, good thought. And I think under normal circumstances, you would think that this might be something that happens. But I just think it's unlikely at this point that we've seen sort of this long, drawn-out process to delay the trial. We're now here. And I think of all the cases that Trump may want to sit in, this is probably the one that he wants to, to have go to court if he had to pick one. I'm not saying he wants to be here. So at, at this point, he's likely to use this as probably the best advertising for his campaign that he can do. We're going to hear his litanies after each court day, I guess. Uh, and so uh, he'll continue to pound the hammer that he's being abused by the justice system. And this to him is some evidence of that. He would give all that up if he talked about a plea. He would have to actually admit he had done something wrong. That, that, that seems to me at this point to, to, to be unlikely. Again, in a regular case, I think you would always have a discussion between the defendants, the lawyers, and the prosecutors. This seems to be an unlikely move, I think, at this point.
And of course, if he were to plead guilty, it's not up to the prosecution or the defense is serving your sentence. Right. It's in the judge's hand. That same judge that he has had an antagonistic mm -hmm. approach towards. We'll see if that impacts anything at all. Michael, thank you for helping to Brilliant. answer our questions. And thank you to everyone who called in. Hey, do you have a question you'd like to answer on the upcoming Trump trial? We'd love to hear from you. Submit your questions at cnn.com slash Trump trial questions.